now in 2019. I finally could scratch this off my bucket list. Welcome to Lost and Found. This freight depot had been on my bucket list for quite a while, at least four or five years, maybe even more. That I finally got the chance to be here, I mean, I can't describe how happy that made me. I did not expect very much of this place, because it has been abandoned for quite some time. But I still found two or three interesting things here. One of the positive surprises was the growth of green all over the place, on the platforms and between the tracks. Commercially used since 1864, this whole area was a mix of industry and railroad transport. After the Second World War, since 1945, it was only used for transport, and all the factories disappeared.
Unfortunately, this place is an open secret. Everybody knows it, or of it, and where it is. So, we were stumbling upon four or five other groups while we were down here. Hello? Martin, bist du das? History-wise, there is not that much to tell about this place. The only thing I definitely know is that the last tracks were removed in 2000. And in 2010, when there was held a music festival here, well, it went wrong. And over 20 people died, and over 400 were injured. About 40 severe. One of these cellars we even found the most interesting thing. Sadly it was almost unrecognizable, but I've seen pictures of this piano intact. The whole area was sold about a year ago and now there are plans to establish recreational area with some shopping possibilities. This place is so big, it even has its own switch tower. At a certain point in my youth, I have seen and heard this place alive. Imagine the noise all these carts make when they're being moved back and forth, all the brakes shrieking. So for me, this is kind of coming full circle, that I finally get the chance to explore this place a couple of months before they tore it down. I hope you liked this little video. Talk Tom signing off. Catch you on the flip side.